This is the Skill Breakdown series. Welcome in, and thank you to Phoenix, who left the request for today's skill, Kaioken Assault. Let's go. Kaioken Assault is a one-bar strike super that becomes purchasable at the skill shop for 5,000 zenny after completing the story mission, The Ginyu Force Strikes. The description reads, Activate Kaioken and charge at your opponent. If you hit them, press the button again to spend key and pummel them with a flurry of attacks. Be careful, you'll lose health during the combo. Now let's look at this now. So this skill has two parts to it. With a single input from the button, you will perform a simple knockback. Press the button again, and you'll perform a pretty fleshed out combo. Keep in mind, it's only this second part of the skill that will consume some of your HP, and it will take a second bar of key to perform. Now, truth be told, you'll mostly just want to stick to using the first part of Kaioken Assault. It won't cost you any HP, and it's actually quite versatile. You can land it in the middle of your basic attack combos, you can land it off of knockbacks, and although you can land it off of knockdowns, it's not exactly consistent in that matter. Once you've landed the first part, there are a bunch of different options available to you. You can fly up and continue a basic combo string, and there are a bunch of super attacks you can follow up with as well. Both of the Key Blast and Strike varieties. The move even combos with itself. You can even follow up with some of the fastest long-range ults in the game, such as Times 4 Kaioken Kamehameha and Emperor's Death Beam. However, I would advise you wait for a stamina break to combo it like this, or, at the very least, when you've got your opponent down to one bar of stamina or less. And of course, there is always the move's second input if you so choose. And on that note, let's start talking about that second input a little bit. Now, it does cost a fair amount of HP to go through with the full combo, and will cost you an extra bar of key just to launch it. On the bright side, your opponent can't vanish out of it, and will have to use an evasive to break free. You can also go straight into a fresh basic attack string, if you can complete the combo. However, it doesn't allow enough time to guarantee a super attack follow-up, unless you're using some of the fastest super attacks in the game, and Emperor's Death Beam won't work here anymore, interestingly enough. But you can still land a times 4 Kaioken Kamehameha and even a Justice combination afterwards. And for point of reference, I test all of these skills on a male Saiyan hybrid between strikes and key blasts, with no Super Soul. So the damage seen in these videos can definitely be taken to greater heights. And there you have it, Kaioken Assault. Quite a cheeky and versatile move, if you ask me. Now, there are quite literally hundreds of skills in this game, and I'm going to try and cover them all for you guys. And the odds of me knowing every detail for every skill might just be a little unlikely. So, if there is something that I miss, be sure to leave a comment to let everyone know. Also, this skill was tested on version 1.38 of the game, so if a future update happens to change anything about this skill, also be sure to let us know. It'd be much appreciated. But, with all that being said, I think that's about my cue to bounce. Certainly do hope you found what you were looking for in this video, and until we meet again, make sure you take care. See ya!